we're surrounded by, um, by letter forms. Letters spell out words that we can read, you know, and we use those letters to communicate. The way that a, a letter or a word looks visually has a lot to do with our perception of what the thing is actually saying. From an early age, I always had an interest in drawing and art. My grandmother actually was a really talented oil painter. Really, art, making art, drawing, and music actually came really naturally, and I really enjoyed the process of like improving and could see myself getting better. So like that kind of carried me to uh, college where I was actually a music major. Then I switched to art, which basically turned into graphic design. Every year you get older, the realization of I have to make money sort of solidifies more and more. The first job I got in design was not a great job. And I think going through that it was like three and a half years I was at this, at this place completely unfulfilled. It was tough. It's like rubber meets the road. Like, well, how are we gonna make this work? This is no longer fulfilling or fun. And ultimately, uh, my wife and I decided that it'd be a, a good thing to probably move to New York City and just really sort of test our metal a, a little bit, which we did. And, uh, and it was there where I got a uh, kind of a dream job if you're in design at an agency called Spotco, and they do all of the Broadway theater advertising, or a lot of it. And there was a um, creative director there named Gail Anderson, who is a uh, pretty legendary in the industry. So working with Gail, I started learning things about letter forms and lettering um, and, and typefaces that just really excited me, that you could use letter forms as like an image. After I moved away from Spotco, um, you know, my personal sketchbook transitioned from figurative stuff to letters. Letters became the subject of, of whatever visual story I was telling. The same way that art and then music and then graphic design, typography became this new obsession. And so, so what I started to figure out that I could do was combine things like painting and music and expression into letter forms and to make them communicate something in the forms themselves above what the actual word said, if that made sense. What I like to say is I like to do illustrative lettering. I think it's, it's, good, to, it's good to be in the business of, of making words because <laughs> It's kind of never going to go away, but I've, I've just kind of learned if you pour your, your soul into something that matters to you, then you'll be okay. <laughs>